Hi, in this video we'll look at a simple technique for creating useful geometry relationships by computing an area two different ways. So in our first example, let's look at a simple right triangle with uh, legs A and B and hypotenuse C. And it's often useful to uh, construct the altitude to the hypotenuse, so let's draw that in, call that H. And it turns out we can calculate H in a very simple way by computing the area of this triangle in two ways. In one way, we'll just take one half of the legs, A times B. And in the second way, we'll just take one half C times H. Canceling and rearranging the terms, we quickly find that the altitude is given by AB over C. A very simple and useful result, and one that's probably worth remembering. Now in the second example, Let's look at finding the radius of an inscribed circle inside an arbitrary triangle. So let's draw our arbitrary triangle with uh, sides A, B, and C. And let me try to draw in my inscribed circle. And let's draw the radii to the sides. And it turns out we can calculate the radius of this inscribed circle now using this very simple technique of computing the area in two ways. So one way is to just use Heron's formula to compute the triangle area using the equation semi-perimeter times semi-perimeter minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Hopefully you've seen that formula. And a second way of calculating the area is to realize that we can break up the triangle into three smaller triangles, each of which has a base given by the side lengths of the triangle and a height given by the radius of the inscribed circle. So now we can compute the area as one half of the base A times the radius R plus one half the base B times the radius R plus one-half the base C times the radius R. And pulling out the R, we can rearrange this to find that the area now is given by the radius times one-half A plus B plus C, and we probably recognize that as the semi-perimeter. So now the area is given very simply by R times the semi-perimeter. Now if we equate the area given by these two expressions, we can find very quickly that the radius now is given by the expression S minus A, S minus B, S minus C over S. And that's a very elegant result, one that uh, would be very difficult to derive in just about any other way. Now in the third example, I won't include that uh, complete example in this video, you can actually use the exact same technique for finding this, uh, the circumscribed circle of an arbitrary triangle by computing the area of the triangle in two ways. And I'll give you a link to that video for those interested. So uh, in summary, I just wanted to mention that this area technique is a simple and handy technique. So look to use this in the AMC example problems in the description section of this video. So take care and see you at the next video. Bye-bye.